Good morning, I hope you guys are doing great this morning. I got my hands on just about any book or any material I could just to kind of get into the subject of, you know, mental illness. And, uh, you know, I learned quite a bit. Not enough, though. I mean, my experience actually really started to grow when I started to meet other people with mental illnesses <clears throat> and discussing things with them. Now, you know, the years went by and uh, it, just, it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. I didn't want to be around people and the only people that I felt comfortable around were the people that were like me. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I, I did a lot of drugs um, and a lot of alcohol just so I could be accepted and, and hang out with people. Which I, I am clean now. I have been clean for quite a while and uh, I, I'm proud of that. Um, I recently just quit smoking cigarettes actually. And even my teeth are getting whiter, which is awesome, because they were nasty, nasty brown. But anyhow, um, it just it got to the point where I think around 28 years of age, I, I just uh, I just didn't want to live. And uh, I had a, a child with uh, a lady that was absolutely ridiculous, uh, suicidal. She liked to cut herself and uh, uh, I did try to break up with her before we even had a child and uh, she went uh, completely ballistic to the point where I didn't know what to do. I felt kind of forced into the relationship so unwittingly I went ahead and took her back and I wished I never would have because she's nuts and uh, being mentally ill and having her have leverage over me and not getting to see my child has, has really increased the amount of depression that I have. But one of the things that I'm going to get with you here on this video today about is how to get rid of these thoughts and these feelings. And um, I guess I'll go ahead and start with just saying nothing is impossible. I mean, you, you're going to have to live through it or you're going to have to die. And honestly, do you really want to die? Just because people, shitty people, are in your life, do you really want to end your life because of somebody else and their freaking ignorance? Come on now. There's no, not no reason to end your life. Because I'll tell you right now, because of the fact that you are mentally ill, you're actually really fucking smart. Um, and you get things that other people don't get. You understand things that other people don't understand, and they never will. Unfortunately, that's part of who we are. We're more empathic, and we're more... Uh, I, I don't know what the word is. We're, we, we have different brain waves, different ways of thinking of things. And uh, for most of us, I think that is uh, we think things out too much. But the fact that we think things out too much means we're really thorough about what we think. And that is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, yes, it gets to us, it eats at us, and it makes us want to die sometimes because we overthink how people treat us. At the same time, we got to understand that... <sighs> my phone keeps shutting off, and it's, it's kind of getting on my nerves. we got to understand that that's only a feeling. So I'm going to go ahead and talk while I do laundry here. Anyway, we overthink things. And that's, it, it seems sometimes like it's overwhelming, it's too much. And the fact of the matter is, it's always going to be like that. It's always going to happen. And we have to embrace it. That overthinking can actually be something positive in your life, if you use it that way. And what I'm getting at is turning your thoughts around. Instead of thinking bad... It's going to take a long time. You've got, to, you've got to train yourself. You really have to train yourself. It may sound stupid, but you have to constantly remind yourself, especially with people like us, you have to tell yourself each day what you want to hear. Which means you have to tell yourself stuff like, it isn't that bad. I'm going to be all right. You know, little things to remind yourself that it's not that bad. Which is annoying. And, you know, some days you think, well, I, it's, I'm not going to be able to do this. But you can. And I have. 
And I'm not saying that I still don't get bad thoughts, because I do, but now that I've trained myself over a period of probably about five, five to six years now, I've gotten a lot better. Unfortunately, I cannot keep a job. I cannot, for the life of me, keep a job, because... Well, let me backtrack a little bit. I got tired of being called bipolar. When I get down, I don't get down that bad. I'm not like, oh, wow, 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 suicidal, cunning myself, and crap like that. I just get to the point where I just don't feel good, and I, I, th I think too much, and um, it's, it's not that bad. I, I, I don't like rage, you know? When I get angry, I cuss, and I have a little fit, but normally I wouldn't hurt anybody. Normally. And normally, I wouldn't get that upset. It's circumstances, generally, that are brought on to me by somebody else that gets me enraged. So it got me thinking, am I really bipolar? Because I, I don't just go up and down and up and down and up and down. Most of the time, I'm pretty mellow. I'm a pretty mellow guy. So I got to, you know, read some more. Because when I was younger, the internet wasn't available. It wasn't available until I was like 16, 18 years of, old, or of age. So I did some digging a few years back and found out that um, generally um, most people that are diagnosed with this are autistic. Um, if you go to Autism Speaks or another autism website and read through the diagnoses and the symptoms, you're going to find out that more than likely you are autistic. Um, if you've ever been really good at math, at drawing, at music, or any, anything like that really calls you and you have this like specific calling that you're really good at, um, most autistic people are. I really wish this would stop shutting off on me. Most autistic people are. Um, they, they have a knack for something of the sort because their brain um, uses that to, uh, I don't know, release I guess but anyhow what I'm getting at here is I can't, I can't keep a job and I know a lot of you probably feel the same um, because uh, for me I'm truthful and apparently there's a lot of businesses out there that don't want you to speak your mind you just got to be a puppet unfortunately it's like Tourette's for me I cannot do that if somebody pisses me off enough I'm gonna tell them uh, my last job, actually, uh, I was in a manager's uniform and uh, was told five months prior that I was going to get a raise and uh, check my, my paycheck. And uh, I wasn't getting a raise, and uh, everybody was just kind of dicking around on getting me shoved through the, the promotion. Not to mention the fact that the business I was at went through four general managers in the time that I was there, like a six-month period. So... One day I went in and I was just pissed. And I said, you know, when, when are you guys going to get your head out of your ass and, and get on the ball with me? Like, I'm tired of this. I've been uh, doing extra work for six months now. Like, a lot of extra work. And you guys aren't paying me right. And uh, I got fired for it. Um, so, um, and it's been like that with my jobs. I, uh, I wish there was something I could do, you know. Um, I do like doing YouTube videos. Uh, I just wish that I could get more followers and subscribers to get to the point where I could actually do something with it. Because quite honestly, guys, I would like to help people with this problem. I would like to be an advocate of people that have problems like this. And I mean, if you have these problems or you need to talk to somebody, um, add me on here and I, I will... If, if you're not spamming me or threatening me or making me feel, you know, horrible, I'll, I'll add you somewhere, uh, Facebook or what be it, and we can talk, you know. But I just want you to know that it's not impossible. It is not impossible. Um, you can get through this. And, uh, I mean, I'm 40 now. I've li lived with this 40 years. And uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And I'll tell you right now, I know it can be overwhelming absolutely overwhelming. I mean, one of the first things that goes to your mind, I wish I was dead. And, uh, 
I get that. But you, you got to think that out, because no, you don't. It may seem like that at first, but just give it time, because it'll fade. Um, but please, you know, add me, um, subscribe, share, because um, I would like to help. I would like to um, bring some people into some sort of organization where we can advocate this and help people out. Um, and uh, the more subscribers we can get, the more likes, the more, uh, you know, popularity we can get, um, the more the more I'm going to be able to um, get closer to a goal of actually creating a YouTube video where I can I can do this. And if I can do this and I can make money out of it, I would like to start funding places like uh, Autism Speaks and, uh, you know, Autism Centers and Mental Illness Centers. I would like to put more of an emphasis on the things that we need because we need it. And there's people out there like me that, that can't sustain themselves because of our problem. And we need people to help. So with that in mind, guys, please subscribe. Please like. Please share. Um, share until your fingers are blue. You know, uh, I need it. We need it. And, um, you know, just because you think somebody might not watch my video or, like, you know, you, you feel embarrassed by sharing it, don't. Just do it. Just share it. If they, if they don't want to watch it, they don't have to watch it. If they don't like it after watching it, fine. That's fine. But we need the help. And um, I'm promising you today, if I can get up to that 1,000 subscriber mark where I can monetize things and start earning an income and getting out and actually doing things with this channel, then that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm passionate about helping people with problems and uh, God knows I have them so like I said if you need to talk to somebody as long as you're not bashing me um, throw a comment down below and um, you know I can get back with you and share my email address if you want to email me and talk so anyway I love you guys and take care of yourselves don't give up don't ever give up it's not worth it I'm about to make some coffee I need coffee in my life right now Going to put some turkey in the crock pot here soon. Trying to shut this off, but I got something in the way. There we go. Got the dishes in the dishwasher and the laundry in the uh, dryer right now, so that's about done. Had to have Lisa get me some all laundry detergent because for the last week and a half two weeks I have been itching and itching and itching and itching and it's driving me nuts so I thought maybe that was it so um, I'm hoping that's it so she got me some all and uh, hopefully that'll work anyways I love you and I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you later bye bye notice how my teeth are getting wider too Benefits of not smoking anymore. <laughs>